A woman who spent almost two decades in prison could be released on bond in the next few days. Five different judges have questioned the conviction of Rosa Jimenez and called for her case to be retried. KXN's Avery Travis has more on how new medical evidence presented to a judge today could be a tipping point. I've been dreaming how it will feel to touch my kids. Rosa Jimenez might see her dream come true in just a few days. Last year, we sat down with the woman found guilty of murder and sentenced to 99 years after the little boy she was babysitting choked to death on a wad of five paper towels. Experts in the original trial testified Jimenez had to have forced them down the boy's throat. I do. But three of the nation's leading pediatric airway specialists told a judge they disagree. Defaulted into a conclusion that we're just simply wrong. They explained theories on how the boy himself could have gotten the paper towels to his airway on accident, but didn't believe Jimenez could have done so because of how difficult it is for them, as doctors and surgeons, to access kids' throats for procedures. I would have expected more damage to her and more damage to Brian. This would have been a major battle. I do not believe that Ms. Jimenez should spend another night in jail. The judge said she plans to release Jimenez on bond and then is expected to make her recommendation of innocence to the Criminal Court of Appeals. They make the ultimate decision about a new trial. These are the experts that the jury should have heard from. Her attorneys say they're ready to keep fighting. But in the meantime, the Innocence Project is working with the Mexican consulate, U.S. government officials, and social workers to determine if Jimenez could return home to Mexico. She's been in prison for most of her life at this point. Um, and so this is going to be a big transition for her. In Austin, Avery Travis, KXAN News. In our past reporting on this case, we have tried to reach the victim's family. They have declined to comment. It is important to note the district attorney's office didn't bring any opposing witnesses and is expected to work with Jimenez's attorneys. The judge said that she will release her official recommendations tomorrow afternoon, and we'll have an update for you then.